Hello everyone, how are you today? This is Dr. Yayo and today we will talk about Pi statistics. Many of us have many problems when they begin to solve these um, questions about Pi statistics and how to choose the Pi statistic test that is uh, suitable for this data okay so today we will begin to understand how we can make this firstly let's say that what is the type of data data may be parametric data or non-parametric data The parametric data which we can calculate, which we can say that it is quantitative data, look like that the age. I say, what's your age or how how old are you? You say I'm uh, 26, or I'm uh, 31, I'm so on. So look like the age, look like the weight, look like the height and so on. But non-parametric data look like two types of non-parametric data. There is nominal data or ordinal data. Nominal data which we can say by the name which we can say by the name look like when I say what's your gender you say I'm a female I'm a male and so on so gender when we talk about something like what's your religion what's your religion you say my religion is Muslim is a Christian is Jewish and so on and uh, um, other things look like that when I say what is your um, what's your hobbies you say my hobbies is swimming my hobbies is fishing and so on so all of these are nominal nominal data okay and but about the ordinal data ordinal data which by the order we use order or ranking on them look like when I say this patient had a mild asthma or moderate or chronic when I say this is acute or chronic this is uh, severe this is you make by order okay firstly this is the most important to understand well because all the problems depend on your understanding what is this type of data is it nominal is it is it ordinal is it uh, parametric data and so on after this we should to know that any problem that you will find for pi statistic you should to determine how many groups involved how many groups involved in the question when I say I make this study for two groups so I said two groups they are look like group A and group B group A and group B so these are different from each other so we can say at this moment this is unpaired unpaired or we can say it is independent groups they are independent groups or they are unpaired groups but maybe I have two groups 
they are similar to each other like when I say that I make a study for this group A and after this I repeat the study again and I get the uh, uh, values of the same group again so I repeated the test for the second time so this is paired paired data or we can say it is dependent data dependent okay so we have here two groups maybe unpaired or independent and the other are two groups are paired or dependent okay maybe they are just more than two groups maybe it is only one group and so on so I should to determine how many groups in this data okay and after this you should to make the following after you know it is parametric test for example you should to find is it only one group or it is two groups or they are more than two groups if it is only one group we use at this moment just this is the most suitable test for this is simple uh, small sample small sample t-test or we call it as the student t-test small sample student t-test but for the two groups we should to determine are they paired or unpaired if they are paired we call it as uh, uh, we should to make paired t-test or dependent t-test but for unpaired we call it unpaired t-test or independent t-test more than two groups we should to make something other which is analysis of variance which is ANOVA ANOVA okay so this is a power parametric data you should to choose according to this okay but for non-parametric data for non-parametric data we have nominal or ordinal we should to check if it's if it is normal nominal so we should at this moment use one of these maybe we can use if it is paired data or unpaired data for paired data we can use chi-square or Fisher exact test but for unpaired data we can use the other which is McNamara test and if it is ordinal data we can use of the, one of these Wilcoxon U test or Pearson test and so on okay this is about how we can choose the biostatistical method or biostatistical test and at the end I can say I wish that you enjoyed with this guys and let's meet in other lecture with me in 
دكتور يايو You can find me on Facebook under Dr. Yayo online pharmacy courses and you can find me too on my forum which is W www dot doctor yayo dot my free forum dot com dot org enjoy your time guys and see you in the next lecture goodbye